Welcome guys to another tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a Minecraft server using our Minecraft hosting. So, if you don't already have one, purchase a Minecraft server host starting at only $1 a month. Very affordable. But, let's get started. We're going to click login and go to the game panel. We're going to click on the server we want to manage. Oh wait, I have two tabs open. Whatever. Okay, so once we're here, I mean, you could default start it if you just want to run vanilla. But if you want to change the version like most people do, you select on whatever version you want and then just install on the version. I already have Paper 1.19.2, but for this tutorial, I'm going to switch it to vanilla since I'm not installing any of the plugins. So let's do that. It's very fast and it auto changes everything you need. There's something very cool about our panel. Uh, we have the plugin installer, which... My internet's very bad, so it might take a little bit for me, but it should be instant for you guys, where we have hundreds of plugins of, you know, hundreds of the most popular plugins that you can install just with one click of a button. Again, I'm running a vanilla server, so it doesn't, like, I can't run those plugins, but if I did have a spigot mod pack on or paper, it would be great. Uh, mod pack installer also is very good. I personally haven't experienced much with mod packs, but you know, we have a ton of them. You know, probably over a hundred I'd say on here, which is great. Um, yeah, so once you have your version installed that you want, you could start your server. It's gonna ask you to accept the uh Minecraft EULA at the beginning. It's not gonna ask me because I've already done it, but you'll just see a pop up that says accept and you just click accept and yeah, then this is a perfectly started Minecraft 1.19.2 server. But I just want to run through some more things like uh, configuration wise. So all your main configuration is going to be in the server.properties folder file. Um, you could change literally practically everything uh, that's like vanilla to your server. You could turn PVP off, generate structures, all this stuff. So the one main question I get asked is, how do I make my server have more a higher count of max players? Because the default's 20. All you do is go to this line, line 21. It says max players. Switch it to whatever. Say I want a thousand max players. There you go. So now all I do is restart the server. And once that boots up, we'll even go on and test it. That you'll see that many max players let's see see it even says zero to a thousand there let's drag our minecraft over and attempt to connect oh let me just get the ip and port make sure you use the port too unless you have a dedicated ip we're going to add the server there you go minecraft server zero to a thousand players say you want to have like details under here something you want about your server go back into that server.properties folder you're going to see a MOTD thing let's see oh yeah right there it says the Minecraft server I know if you go on like MC market you could find you know custom ones that have the colors and everything but for this we're just going to put rocket node tutorial and you will just see how it updates again restart the server very quick give it a minute All right, there you go, rocking the tutorial. We could connect to it. Everything's great, runs super smooth. Again, all of our hosting uses very high clock DDR4 RAM, so everything runs very, very smooth. Yeah, so that's pretty much it on how to set up a base Minecraft server. If you guys need anything else, feel free to let us know, and yeah. Join our Discord. Have a great day. We hope you enjoy your services. Bye.